Hey out there YouTube, Fardreamer101 here back with our 24th battle spot match in the series. Today we are going up against Guitarist Lee, who is bringing with him a Slowbro, Dragonite and Greninja. Uh, we are back with Team Char, uh, our main series team, uh, one of, well, probably my favourite team to use on battle spot to be fair. Um, while it's not more of a traditional team with no physical or special walls, every Pokemon on that team really puts in some work. And work seems to work really well in the free on free and puts in some work on 6v6 as well. So uh, I'm probably bringing three my favourite Pokemon to use out of that team. So I'm bringing my Breloom uh, Team Captain Char, who's our Mega Charizard X. And uh, Manectric, who's coming with us as well today because he had some good coverage against this guy's team. He got a couple of water and flying types. Um, as you can see from T preview, decided to bring two water types with us with him. Uh, I decided to bring Brailing because I was expecting the Greninja leaks that hit pretty much everything on my team for, for either neutral or super effective damage. Um, so I really wanted to cover that off before we had any protein fun going off. Uh, and bought Char specifically to deal with the Dragonite because that thing could be a major problem when running up on the team. So particularly if you manage to get a Dragon Dance off. Um, so we're going to jump straight into the matchup. Um, so predicting to open Greninja, so we're going to open up with Breloom, so Dino Shroom is going to come out for us. Uh, and he does open with the Greninja, so I'm not going to make any mad first turn predictions here, it is shiny. I'm pretty sure an Ice Beam is coming my way, so we're going to go straight up for a Map Punch. Um, it's not Focus Sast, which was a bit of a surprise. Um, the Greninja is going to go down to a Map Punch, which is great news for us, because that thing could really put in some work against us. Um, he's going to go out for a Dragonite, so I was very tempted to try and switch, which I thought it might predict me to do and go for a Dragon Dance but he instead stays and go for an Earth EQ so I was going for a Rock to him on the off chance that he does Dragon Dance to get some free damage off and drop its, try and drop its speed back down um, which does an okay amount probably due to, to its scale um, it doesn't drag, he's going to withdraw Dragonite after that though uh, and go into his slow bro uh, we are just going to straight up Bullet Seed uh, on the next turn, we do go for protect that turn because we wanted to see, see whether a fire punch was coming our way. So he does get a nice free switching, unfortunately, for us. But we should outspeed this thing. I mean, this guy's got an entire team of shiners, which are nice, but I'm sorry, Game Freak. Mega Slow Bro looks absolutely blooming ridiculous. That's possibly the stupidest looking Mega. He should be spinning around permanently on the spot. Um, so we're going to connect, we're going to get a bit of luck with our bullet seeds, we're going to hit four times, it's going to just miss picking up the KO unfortunately for us. Uh, and then Flamethrower is going to come through, he's expecting a sidekick, but yeah, Flamethrower will do exactly the same job to a Brailu. So Dino Stream is going to go down, but Dino Stream is really putting some work for us, carrying the Greninja. Uh, we're going to go into Char, uh, we are going to Flame Charge at this point to get a plus one speed because of that Dragonite. I am going to have a Captain McCart face palm moment and forget to Mega Evolve, which costs us the KO and nearly costs us. Chai's going to go for a score. Now, if, I was, if I'd Mega Evolve, this would only be neutral, as it is that super effective. But thankfully, Char manages to live on 10. Um, once again, having a not normal Charizard EV spread on him seems to have paid off for us and saved us from a stupid mistake. We're finally going to Mega Evolve off and we're going to go for a straight up Dragon Claw just in case he decides. One, it'll polish for Sober off, and secondly, if he decides to bring that Dragonite in, it is going to would KO it. Um, he goes back out into his Dragonite. I said, I'm not a big fan of Shiny Dragonite. I'm not overly keen. Let me know what you guys think, but I'm not a big fan of it. Not sure, it's sort of like an off greeny colour. Uh, Dragon Claw is going to come through very direct speed because of the flame charge, and that is going to KO his Dragonite. So, a uh, really good luck match for us. We were lucky he managed to go for a Dragon Dance um, when he was in with his Dragonite, so that potentially could have swept the whole team at that point. Um, Braden really putting in some work for us there, so Dino Shroom doing a fantastic job. Uh, didn't need Good Boy in that match, but we bought him just in case. Um, on the off chance that scored the fitness char off. Um, hopefully Good Boy would have been able to have come in and just finished off the rest of his team for us. So, um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like comment down below. And if I don't see you around, I will see you on Battle Spot. Take care of yourself, guys. Bye.